Hey, what's up guys? It's Kazoo here and welcome to episode 14 of Skill Into Glory. In the previous episode, we made a new squad around the new 5-star skiller Chanturia. And uh, we started off very well already, scoring 3 goals with him in only 2 games. So uh, my aim for this episode too was to uh, definitely complete that challenge where we score 4 goals with him. So um, yeah, we started off in this game, came against a uh, full Manchester City team with also Vardy and he also had some random bronze and silver Man City players. It wasn't like the best Man City team that you probably can make. But um, yeah, we started off really well in the 28th minute, the first chance they were Chanturia. And the first chance of the game really was already a goal after 30 minutes. And um, yeah, we do complete that challenge. His fourth goal already, really nice start. Then we move on 30 uh, second minute. He gets himself a chance here too with Vardy, hits the post. From that we managed to uh, clear it away and go on the counter with some nice passing. Uh, we pick it up here with Fernandez. Uh, played it on through here to Promas. Beats the defender there really nicely with the fake shot. Then look at this. This was a clear tackle from my opponent on Promas. But the referee didn't even give advantage. Even though I was playing on obviously. Um, he didn't do anything. Which I found really weird. Because that obviously should have been a free kick. But um, yeah, moving on, we uh, got a chance with Chanturia again where uh, the goalkeeper saved it. And look at this for a penna from the pie. Would have loved to uh, to continue that run on and maybe score from it. Unfortunately, though, we picked up a corner. Then uh, we pick it up here with Rose, played on through to Barzagli. Really nice scoop to him from Fernandez. And then we do shoot it into the back of the net. We do score a skill goal there. Going to count this one. Really nice scoop to him. Uh, yeah, completely uh, put those defenders on the wrong foot. And uh, we make it 2-0. Very nice goal. Then uh, before halftime, he gets himself a chance here too with Sane. Good save there from my goalkeeper at the near post uh, still in the first half has the ball there with Sterling crosses it in we managed to clear it away and then look at how much space we had on the right hand side it was ridiculous I think he was an ultra attacking at this point already we go one on one here with Promes his goalkeeper came out there was only one thing for me to do and that is chip him and uh, we managed to score from it as well make it 3-0 and uh, we're still in the first half from kickoff we decide to play it around the back of it I expected him to rage quit already since he was doing this eventually would kick it forward press start and uh, he decided to leave the game. And uh, since it was still in the first half, that means that this game technically doesn't count uh, towards the amount of games we have left, which is nice. And uh, we also, of course, get to apply an attribute card to Chanturia, who already had okay stats, I think, for a lower silver player. But now with the attribute card, he has insane stats. 90 pace, 95 dribbling, uh, 79 shooting, 76 passing, and 84 physical as well. So, uh, yeah, I was really curious to see how we would perform in the in the next game. So uh, yeah, we move on. It will be the second game of the episode. And we come up against uh, pretty much a French team with a Premier League defense in the 4-1-4-1 formation. Don't really know why he decided to go with this formation since Lacazette was out of position. And he also uh, decided to switch to the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, before the game pretty much started. So um, yeah, we start off this game with a chance with Witzel. Very poor shot. Easy save for his goalkeeper. Then uh, he gets himself a chance here too with Banarfa. Cheeky back you there to, uh, to Ben Yedder who managed to make a nice run. But also his shot was very poor. And an easy save for my goalkeeper. Then 22nd minute we get ourselves another chance here with Promes. A very nice finish shot. Hits the, uh, the crossbar there. And uh, would have been a lovely goal to, uh, to go in. Then uh, we move on 35th minute. Uh, we get another chance after some nice play. It's uh, Chanturia there on the wall. Plays it on through here to Quincy Promes. Tried to go for the chip shot. Uh, Butland there didn't come out. But uh, still managed to get a save onto it. And unfortunately didn't go in. Then uh, before half time my opponent gets himself another chance here as well. With a cow walk, a bit of shielding, plays it on through here to Ben Yedder, who then manages to go through my defenders, was one away to keep, and then he puts it wide, like not even on target. I was very, very surprised that uh, he didn't put that into the back of the net. And you can see from the halftime stats, we had most of the chances, but um, my opponent probably had like the biggest chance out of uh, out of all the chances in the first half, really. But um, yeah, we move on into the second half, 65th minute on the left-hand side. It is the pie there. Uh, beats the defender there very nicely with the fake shot. Then I was thinking of doing some more skill moves. Decided to cross it in instead. Couldn't get a header in here with Promes. Easy save from his goalkeeper. Then uh, from the throw, he messed up. We pick it up here with uh, Chanturia. Very nice body feint inside the box. Goes for a shot there. And again, Butland with a save. And uh, you all know how good Butland is. And also in this game, he... Uh, he was just a pain in the ass to play against. He had so many chances from uh, from myself saved, which was just really frustrating since I felt I already should have been up 1 0. And especially towards the end of the game, we created more and more chances here as well with uh, Martial. Nice 1 2 there with uh, Promes. Uh, Martial inside the box goes for a shot with his weaker foot. Maybe should have taken it with his, uh, with his stronger foot instead. But uh, yeah, 90th minute, we get one more chance here with Martial. Uh, again, a couple of skill moves. We go inside the box, then uh, we go with the spin here, and then all of a sudden we get a penalty. And I mean, obviously, like, if you look at the replay, this was not a penalty at all. Like, he got the ball, and just seriously, look at how Martial went through the ground. It was just 
So funny to see, but uh, we step off for the penalty with Promes. And we hit the freaking crossbar. And as soon as this happened, I just knew that I wasn't uh, gonna, gonna score anymore in this game. It was just so frustrating, this entire match. Like, Butland saved everything. Then at the end, we got an undeserved penalty, which we missed as well. I mean, everything that could go wrong in this game just went wrong. I just kept creating more and more chances as well in extra time. Here as well, a, a chance with uh, Martial again, which I uh, decided to sub on earlier for, uh, for Chanturia. Then uh, we picked up a corner, decided to play it short. We were pretty much the entire half uh, on, his, uh, on his half, basically, creating chances, but nothing would go in. Second half of extra time, straight from kickoff. He actually went on a really nice run here with the Pi and Promes. A uh, bit of LTRT dribbling, trying to, uh, to beat the defenders. Uh, we managed to uh, go around them. We go for a free Nash shot there, which I thought was going to be a goal, but again, Butland there with his save. Then uh, we pick up a corner, get a header in here. Then Chiellini, all of a sudden, again, really weird touch. I don't know what he did. He drilled kind of backwards. I pressed uh, the B button so many times, but he refused to shoot. Eventually, he uh, would go out for a corner again. Then uh, towards the end of the uh, extra time, we got a chance with Promes. Cuts in with the Berber spin, goes for the fake shot, tries to go for a shot at the near post, but again, Butlin saves, and that meant we had to go into a penalty shootout. And um, like I said in the previous episode, where we actually can see the penalty with Sirigu, which he definitely should have saved. You will see the exact same thing again in this penalty shootout. We go to the right corner. I thought I had it, but it went in. Then uh, we shoot a penalty in very nicely with Martial. Wish I took the penalty with him earlier in the 90th minute. But then again, do the exact same thing again. Go to the right corner. It still went in. And I seriously didn't know what to do else. Like... I was clueless. He obviously would uh, convert the remaining of his penalties. And then uh, Promes slaps off for it again. And he also missed this penalty. So, um, yeah, I seriously had no idea what the reason was of me not saving a freaking penalty. Even though I go to the right corner. Now, I saw some comments from you guys also on Twitter, also on YouTube itself. Uh, saying that I, I should have moved my goalkeeper before going to the corner. But, I mean, why is that a thing? Like, I went to the right way. Why doesn't he save it? Like... It's such a stupid thing, and it's the first time I actually noticed this in uh, in FIFA 17. And I'm definitely gonna uh, like keep in mind that I that I have to do it the next time I uh, I can see the penalty. But again, I, I really really felt I should have won that game. Looking at the looking at the stats and that penalty uh, shootout as well to top it all off. It was just uh, it was just a game that I will probably remember for a long time. Anyway, going into this game, we came up against a uh, Serie A side. I do believe a decent team in the 4-3-2-1 formation, and uh, we started off. Uh, with some shots from outside the box, it was very difficult actually breaking down his defense. You will see a lot of players from his, from him as well, like staying at the back, uh, which resulted in me trying some shots from outside the box. Wasn't really effective with them and like didn't really create that many chances. Up until the 33rd minute here, we set some pressure with Witzel after he kind of got a bad touch uh, with the fake shot. I went with his chip shot and then all of a sudden it was Chanturia who managed to uh, tap the ball in. And you can see from the replay that whilst I was trying to go for the chip shot, it got deflected by his defender. And therefore, Chanturia was able to, uh, to shoot it in nicely and uh, give us a lead in this game. Also, his fifth goal already. Then uh, on the verge of half time, we got another chance here with Chanturia after some skill. It was a good save there from his goalkeeper. Would have been a nice goal as well. Then to the second half we go. Uh, we managed to push his attacker away there with Rose. Then I want to play it on through to Witzel, but then we lose the ball. He plays it immediately to the other side to Mertens. He goes with a nice shot, nice shot and hits the post there. Very big chance there for my opponent. Then uh, just a few minutes later, gets himself another chance. Uh, stays very calm there, as you can see. Tries to uh, kind of find a gap for him to uh, to play the ball at. Uh, I set some pressure with Dembele. I thought I had the ball. Then he picks it up again with Mertens. Goes for the exact same shot and shoots it in. I can see from the replay how nice it was. It was just no chance at all for uh, for Sirigu to save that one. And uh, he made it 1-1 one, one more than deserved. Because uh, the entire game really was uh, was going uh, very even, I think. Uh, in the second half, though, at the at the end especially, we kind of were the dominant side. Created some chances here with Witzel also with the pie. Tried to go for the skill, but again, uh, some great defending on his side. Then uh, we move on in the 78th minute. It is uh, the pie there on the left-hand side to manage to uh, get the ball. Runs down the wing. I knew that he expected me to, to cut in, so I decided to go with some passing instead. We pick it up here with Fernandes. Nice fake shot to cut in. We cross it into Martial, who goes for the volley, hits the post, and then from the rebound, we finally get the 2 1. It is Promas who taps it in. And uh, yeah, we do take the lead in this game. Very, very late in the game, though. Uh, then, 83rd minute, uh, my opponent went on the attack. We managed to uh, get the ball back then. Uh, we went on the counter with, again, some really nice passing. The pipe plays it on through to Marshall. A very nice touch to uh, get past the defenders. Beats the goalkeeper as well with the heel flick. 
and then we tap it in for an open goal to make it 3-1 and make it game over. And at, at the time when I got past the goalkeeper, I thought for a split second, should I go for like a fancy shot or something? But um, yeah, as you can see, Miranda was very, very close, so decided to go with a regular shot instead. Still a nice goal, though, not a skill goal as well. You can see from the final stats, uh, it was it was a very even game, and um, yeah, we managed to grab ourselves the win at the end with a really nice goal as well at Marshall to finish it all off. So um, yeah, we move on to the skillers up, where you can see we have uh, actually scored five goals with the uh, Chanturia. We have five games left, so um, yeah, hopefully we can score a couple more goals with him. But uh, we have completed one challenge so far. We need to score one more skill goal and one more chip goal. Hopefully you can maybe combine those two and then uh, move on to the next five-star skiller. But anyway, guys, that's where we're going to be ending off this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like. It would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.